I'm going to show you here real quick. Kind of, you don't want to pull these back too much. How to take this off. You one of these tiny little screws, screwdrivers. It sucks that this drone, drone doesn't automatically come with these tiny screwdrivers, but oh well. If you're a drone owner of other drones, you have these one of these tiny screwdrivers, but if you're not, then go get you one. Just kind of for repairs and stuff. There's four little screws down here in the bottom. Okay, here, 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 and here. So now, this should... Oh, we didn't get that one enough. And these are seated screws, so they shouldn't come out. They just give you enough to lift. Oh, we need to take these. You can see the inside of it right there. You can see the... Uh, motherboard and all that right in there there's three different spots that you can see there's the orange here and there's the motherboard and then there's the white so slip a fingernail in between the motherboard and the white just kind of pull down This one's being stubborn over here. There we go. Now, now you can take that bottom off right there. And you can see the little battery here, the little antenna there. Uh, there's the motors. So just kind of go through here and make sure that you don't have any of the hairs and stuff down in here. No. These are your geared motors, or what they call brushed motors. They got a little gear on them. Uh, actually, these ones, I think, have a little gear that sticks up. They're just... The motors go like this, and on a typical big quadcopter, they have the little spot that comes here, and then it's got a gear on it that goes, runs with another gear, and then this one goes up and runs your props. That's how a typical big big quadcopter goes. But these little nano drones just kind of go straight up. And they just run your props like that. But they're still the brushed motors, or what I call the geared motors. The reason I call them the geared motors is because of the gears that are on the bigger ones, but I guess you can't really use that description on these ones. Uh, so... You can, you got to be real careful with these. Uh, just kind of working back and forth. There's a little instrument that helps you, because you'll, you'll bend the crap out of these. You'll break them, all sorts of things, just trying to pull them up. It's the only thing that I don't like about this drone, really. Is it's real hard to pull these uh Let's try to do this. You can just pull this down. It's funny because you could really, what they could do with this drone is they could put they could put it out with different colors. I think it'd be really cool. And then you could just they're just soldered on.
Okay, there we go. It's a lot easier to get the props off. I just pull down on the uh, on the engine here. Well, that one popped off pretty easily. That one's not one two. Yeah, see, it bends up the the props pretty bad. My hands are all slick, so we're going to go ahead and pop the rest of these off. They're pretty tough. Uh, I think probably what your best bet is, <clears throat> is you can take a little pin, a little clothes pin or something on the inside of these little s spots here and kind of put it up in there and then all right so we're going to go ahead and put this back together now you've seen the inside of the little mini drone it's fairly easy I wanted to point one more thing out if you're ever changing these these drones out and all all toy and hobby drones are the same uh, they're color coordinated so you can see that these props here have the red and blue here and these props here have the black and white so you can tell the different directions that the props go by the color so if you ever need to change the motors out because the motors do burn up on these things sometimes. Sometimes the motor is the problem, and that's how you do it. All right, I'll put the bottom back on. Make sure that the bottom goes on correctly. There's the on and off right there. That needs to go at the on and off switch there. This is such a tiny little lipo battery, it's, it's so funny. Alright. I'll just get these. And pop those back over the top. Oh, I broke that one. Oh well. It doesn't matter if you break it because it's got these reinforcement screws down here that's going to keep it together. Make sure on these quadcopters you never screw it down as tight as you can go. Just make sure that it's snug. These things have really, really cheap, light plastic to guarantee that they fly and use the le least amount of uh, battery where you get the most flight time out of it. And so since they use the lightest plastic, they use the cheapest plastic. And these screws are usually stainless steel. So if you tighten it down as hard as it'll go, it will eat right through it. Now you're not going to be able to see on here, but these say a letter on the end there. This one says B2. There's A1, A2. So this is the back. So B2 goes on the back. And you can tell by the direction that the props go. So the left front, when facing it away from you, left front is A1. Right back is A2. Left back is B2. Left front is A1, and i got to go get a new prop for that. I haven't broken the B1 yet. So I have a B1 available. 
And these props are super cheap if you want to buy extra ones. Usually all you need to do is go on a Gearbest or Banggood, type in the quadcopter into the search bar, and then just look it up. Look up the parts. Now it's back together. And that's how you uh, fix these little mini drones, and especially this uh, little little fast lane RC right here. And we're gonna charge it up and fly it. So I kind of just showed you how you can fix anything on the inside, how you can replace a motor, how you can replace a battery, because you can get more batteries for this. Now what I've essentially shown you is how you pretty much take it apart. It's three different levels, uh, and how you can pretty much fix the propellers, how you can tell which propellers go on where, uh, how you can change out the motors if the motor motors burn out, and essentially how you can change out uh, the batteries if you need to get an extra battery. Now I wouldn't suggest you get a spare battery and try to figure out, because these ones don't, these ones aren't just batteries that you can take out and charge on the charger uh, like a lot of other helicopter or like a lot of other quadcopter batteries uh, and this charges so quickly it's just unnecessary uh, but if you want to get a spare battery just in case this one you know anything goes wrong with it you can always order one uh, and then keep it to the side until you know something goes wrong with this maybe it doesn't hold a charge or it doesn't charge as well or anything like that uh, now you know how to take it apart, uh, mess with the insides, and do all that different stuff. And essentially, it's the same thing on most all dr all mini drones. Almost. I mean, there's a, there's a few differences in a few of the drones, but most of them are designed exactly the same. So you can fix them, so you can uh, change parts out and things like that. So if you're having any trouble with anything, if it suddenly stops working... Uh, or anything like that. The one thing that you guys are lucky on is is a lot of hobby drones, the gears, uh, like I showed you over here, with how the gears right here connect. A lot of other drones, before the motor burns out, before the motor burns out here, uh, these gears right here or here end up stripping out and you have to either buy this piece here, that's the gear with the, the prop connector, or you have to buy this new gear here and pull this off, push the new gear on, uh, put some glue on it. I mean, and, and it's it's kind of a hassle on some of the hobby drones because they just don't give you the access uh, that some of them give you. Some of them give you an easy ac access motor change and gear change, and some of them just don't. Uh, so... Luckily, with these mini drones, you guys don't have to deal with that because the, the, the props connect directly onto the, the top of the brushed motor. So, that's one of the, the really big pluses on these middle mini drones here. Uh, the other plus, I guess, would be that you don't have to constantly change out the battery to plug it in to charge it and things like that, and it charges super, super quick. One of the downfalls is these props don't screw on so they have to uh, stay on by being super tight uh, so when you're wanting to if something else in here breaks you might as well order new props too because when you're taking the props off it's real easy as you've seen uh, with this one how easy it is to damage a prop just by trying to take this apart and maybe uh, changing a motor or something out anyways this is Bryce and Michael RC you guys have a good one safe flight and we'll talk to you later. The next one that I'm going to make with this uh, little fast lane RC is I'm going to show you guys the different little controls. Because I just realized that I haven't shown you guys the the controls and what this one does and this one does and stuff. But I'll do the whole breakdown of the transmitter uh, on my next fast lane video. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one.